Hey everyone, TragicMTG here, and I've decided that I'd like to build a commander deck based around Feldegriff, a card from Alliances, and I know I have one of them somewhere in my great stacks of cards, and I don't know where to find it, so I thought what better way to find one than to try to open it out of these packs. Let's get a $20 card, possibly out of six of these $60 packs. Seems, makes sense to me, right? Let's do it. And uh, hopefully, maybe we'll get one of those. And maybe something else good along the way. Let's do it. We'll uh, turn on the scanner and see how we do with this travesty. Here we go. Alliances. Only 12 cards in here. And these are the uncommons. We have a Strong Gold Spy, a Nature's Blessing, a Limdul's Paladin. And the rare Feldegriff, Soul Grail for three. It's an artifact when Soul Grail comes into play. Choose a color. You can tap it to add one mana of the chosen color to your mana pool. Play this ability as an interrupt. A little three mana mana rock there. It's an uncommon, technically. Just to check, did I miss any of those rares? Nope, they're all uncommons. This one might even be a common. Nope, all uncommon. So the Soul Grail is probably technically like a U3 or something like that. That is our rare for the pack. We've got Taste of Paradise, Sage, a Beast, the Awesome Presence, the Astrolabe, some Pigeons, oops, a Scout, and a Aster. So pack one away with a bit of a bad ROI on that. It's okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm just doing this for fun. And to find that Feldegriff. Pack number two. Some pretty good cards in alliances. Just saying, feast or famine. Elvis Spirit Guide. So that's a good card. Now uh, I always thought this was a common. Maybe it is an uncommon. We'll scan it though because it sees a lot of play. Thirteen fifty. Is it's a card that you can actually remove it from your hand, remove it from the game, from your hand to add green to your mana pool. So it's like a Simeon Spirit Guide. Um, Pretty good for green, right? So we'll pull that one. Deadly Insect and the rare is a Ritual of the Machine. So this is a good card, I believe. Sacrifice a creature to gain control of target non-black, non-artifact creature for four. It's okay. Let's see. Ten bucks, I believe it's on the reserve list. Storm Shaman. Keldoran Pride. Bestial Fury. Royal Herbalist. Phyrexian Warbeast. Yavamaya Ancients, Swamp Mosquito, and Gorilla Berserkers. All right. No Feldegriff yet. Really need that Purple Hippo Madness for my commander game here. Yavamaya Ants, Surge of Strength, Suffocation. I don't know if I've ever seen this card. I might have to scan that one as well. And the rare, a Sworn Defender. Uncommon for Suffocation, Sworn Defender. Technically the rare, it's $2.39, let's read it. For four, Summon Knight, it's a 1-3. You can pay one to change Sworn Defender's power to the toughness of target creature blocking or being blocked by Sworn Defender, minus one until end of turn. <laughs> Do the math. Change Sworn Defender's toughness to one plus the power of that creature until end of turn. Okay, cool. Probably doesn't see a lot of play. Got a martyrdom. Reinforcements. Insidious bookworms. Look at them. Look how insidious they are. Just like <laughs> crawling along. Elvish Ranger with uh, amazing art that would not fly nowadays, that's for sure. I'm gonna scan this one just to see. Does the Therese Nielsen female Elvish Ranger trend a little higher than the average common? I'm gonna pull it. Taste of Paradise. Soldevi Steam Beast, Gorilla Warcry, Storm Shaman with his epic mustache there. He's a cleric, but he looks like a wizard, doesn't he? And he's got, this is totally wizard stuff, right? You pay red to give him a plus one, plus zero, and he's a zero four. He's practically like a prodigal pyromancer. He's a prodigal lightning mancer, but he's a cleric. What do I know? Wizards knows. All right, alliances, pack number... Four. Reprisal. False demise. Ah, oh, yeah, I get it. She's. I. I see what you did there. She 
He's breathing underwater to fake him out. Shield Sphere, good uncommon. And I think this is a reserveless card, I'm not sure. And a Tornado. So 598 for the uncommon Shield Sphere. Tornado, let's scan it. It's a rare, it's 380. For four and a green, it's enchantment with cumulative keep with a green. You can pay two and a green and pay two life for each velocity counter on Tornado. Destroy target permanent and put a velocity counter on Tornado. Use this ability only once each turn. Effects that prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. So, interesting. You could use it to remove some of your opponent's creatures, but it's only going to be good for a couple turns, maybe. There it is. Balduvian War Makers. Noble Steeds. Aster Glider. What is an Aster? It's like kind of like... Looks like it's like an undead falcon or eagle. Cannot be assigned to block. Stench of Decay. Finhorn Druid. That's pretty cool. Taste of Paradise. The art style is amazing. You just don't see them like this. Almost like a lot of like... I don't know what you call this. Watercolor or oil painting or something. Just definitely like a particular style for this set. Benthic Explorers, which is the chick from the, uh, the packs there. The Merfolk. And a Bestial Fury. Alright. Let's do it. Come on. Let's get something good here. We got a Pyrokinesis. A Juniper Order Advocate. Great. We got Inheritance. We got a Wandering Mage, which I believe is another reserveless card. And so those Esper colors, I think. Here's another Cleric with an O3. You can pay a, you can pay white to pay one life to prevent up to two damage to any creature. And you can pay blue to prevent one damage to any cleric or wizard. And you can pay black to put a minus one minus one counter on target creature you control to prevent up to two damage to any player. Hmm. I wonder if there's any uses for that. I mean, you can you can pay the costs multiple times, so there are kind of like activations that could maybe happen with that. Let's see. She is two dollars. Errand of duty. Phyrexian boon. What's going on there? Another an aster, wild aster. See, the last one looked like it was like made of bones. This one seems to be alive. Flying first strike. It's just a bird, right? <laughs> You pay to pump it up. Okay. Gorilla Chieftain. Cool art there. Quentin Hoover. Whip Vine. Nice. Sildevi Heretic. Yep. And a Gorilla Berserkers. And a Varchild's Crusader. Can't be blocked except by walls for zero. Why even give it an activation cost? Oh, because then you have to bury it at the end of the turn. That makes sense. Alright. Give it its all. Make it make it get through the, the line there. Alright, last chance. Alliances pack. Browse. Gorilla Shaman. There's a good uh, common right there. Or uncommon, I guess. That's a common, but it's in the uncommon slot. Sure. I don't know. I just don't know. Here's some Richard Cain Ferguson art. Looking pretty good. Pillage and Whirling Catapult. The big rare from this pack. Here we go. It's another uncommon. For four, it's an artifact. You can pay two to remove the top two cards of your library from the game to have Whirling Catapult deal one damage to each creature with flying and each player. Sure. Sure, why not? Carrier Pigeons, Stench of Decay, Gorilla Tactics, Royal Herbalist. That looks like, uh, that looks familiar. Looks like Richard Garfield. Phyrexian Boon. Insidious bookworms, the alternate art. Look at them. Look at them go. They're so insidious. War beast, an awesome presence. There we go. All right. Um, that was it for some packs of alliances. Quick 360 bucks down the drain. No big deal. That's what I'm all about. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tragic MTG. See you later.